Hello, this is Anand Paul and welcome back to Start Pro VATI Advanced Training Session. Before starting the tutorial, I would recommend all of you to switch to HD streaming mode for better picture quality. In this session, we will learn how to perform response spectrum analysis as per Indian Earthquake Code IS 1893 Part 1. The response spectrum analysis is one of the most widely used dynamic analysis procedures to analyze a building. While performing the response spectrum analysis in STAT Pro, the design lateral force at each floor in each mode is calculated using the equation QIK equals AK into phi IK into PK into WI, where the value of AK and WI has to be defined by the user and the phi IK and PK values are calculated by the STAT. STAT uses the following procedure to generate the lateral seismic loads. We have to specify the value for Z by 2 into I by R as the factor for input spectrum. Then the program calculates the time period of the first six modes. By default, STAT calculates only the first six modes of vibrations unless specified. Then the program calculates the SA by G value for each mode utilizing the time period and damping for each mode. Then the program calculates the design horizontal acceleration spectrum AK value for different modes. Further, STAT calculates the mode participation factors for various modes of vibrations and the peak lateral seismic force at each floor in each mode is ascertained and the peak lateral seismic force at each floor is calculated. All response quantities for each mode are then calculated further by using various combination methods as specified by the user. The final results are calculated. In this tutorial, we will perform the response spectrum analysis on the same building that we used in static analysis procedure. We already learned how to assign the properties, specifications and support conditions to the structure. Now we will directly move to the response spectrum procedure to analyze the structure. In order to perform the response spectrum analysis, it is necessary to define the seismic load case definition. In order to calculate the base shear value VB, which is calculated using the empirical formula for fundamental period of the building. Just like we did in static analysis, we will define a seismic definition. To define a seismic definition, click on the seismic definition option, click add, select IS 1893. We will use the generate option, select the seismic zone as 5 with Z value of 0.36. We will use special RC moment resisting frames with the response direction value R of 5. The importance factor, let it be 1 and let the soil type be medium. The structure type is RC framed building. Click generate to generate the definition. Sorry, the damping value is 0.05, so let's correct it to 0.05 and click Add to add the definition. We will add a self-weight factor of 1. Now let us define the flow weights. Just like we did in static analysis, we will apply a uniform pressure of 12 kN per meter square for a wide range of 0 to 11 and 10 kN per meter square for a Y range of 11.5 to 15 and to contribute to the live load we will add a uniform load pressure of 2 kN per meter square on flows with a Y range of 0 to 11. Now our definition part is complete. Let us define the first load case for dead load and live loads. We will add a uniform flow load of minus 12 kN per meter square in global Y direction for a Y range of 0 to 11. Again to contribute the live load, we will apply minus 4 kN per meter square for Y range of 0 to 11. Now on roof, a pressure of 2 kN per meter square is applied as live load with a range of 11.5 to 15 meters. And to contribute to the lead load, we will apply a uniform pressure of minus 10 kN per meter square on the roof. Now our dead load and live load definition is complete. Now let's move to the main part of the response spectrum analysis procedure that is defining the response spectrum load case we will add a new load case named response spectrum click add before defining the response spectrum command you have to specify values that has to be considered to calculate the value of wi so we will add the values one by one select the load case and click add first of all we will add the self weight in x, y and z directions with a factor of 1 and we will add a flow load in the exact same way that we used in the seismic definition 
but the only difference is that in order to perform the response spectrum analysis the loads in all three directions has to be the same so we will define the same load in all three directions first of all we will apply 12 kN per meter square in global x direction for y range of 0 to 11 then in global y direction and then in global z direction now we will apply the pressure of 10 kN per meter square for a range of 11.5 to 15 in global x y and z direction again we have to apply a load of 2 kN per meter square for a y range of 0 to 11 meters to calculate the weight contribution from the live load so click add in x y and z directions now all these weights will be considered to calculate the value of wi for the calculation of flow shear we will apply the self weight to the whole structure after defining all the flow loads and the loads that has to be applied or considered for the response spectrum analysis we will add the response spectrum command in the load items you can find the response spectrum option we will select the code as IS1893 and we will select the soil subclass as medium if you want to insert a custom value you can use the custom option to insert the values of period versus acceleration graph here we will use the predefined graph for medium soil by selecting medium soil in the drop down menu let the damping value be 0 0.05 for the first response spectrum case we will apply a load in x direction the next part is how to calculate the value that has to be entered here this depends on the seismic definition that we have provided we know the first part of the equation to calculate the a h value is z by 2 into i by r which makes the value as 0 0.36 by 2 into value of i is 1 and the value of r is 5 so the value that has to be assigned here is 0 0.036 for x direction by default the scale is 1 so if, if you don't specify the value of scale it will accept the default value as 1 if you want to use any modification factors you will have to specify the modification value here if you want to consider the torsion effect you have to check this option we will use the SRSS combination click add to add the response spectrum option the one thing that we have to keep in mind is that the response spectrum command should be defined only after defining the loads or after specifying the load values that has to be considered to calculate the response spectrum loads. Now we will add the analysis command with perform analysis and print mode shape options. Click add. Now in post print command we will add the command to print the analysis results. The soft story drift command to check for the soft stories click add now our structure is ready to be analyzed go to analyze command and run analysis select view output file option and click done first of all let us take a look at the warnings the first warning is about the one-way load distribution we have already discussed about this warning in the earlier videos and the next warning is about the closely spaced modes and as per the IS recommendation the stat has used the CSM method for combination and the next four warnings are about the soft story drift since we have specified the command to print the soft story drift the stat has checked the stop soft story drift recommendations of IS1893 the drift in all these four stories are exceeding 0 0.004 times the story height Now let us switch to the results tab. First of all, in the eigen solution, since we haven't specified any cutoff mode shape command, the stat has calculated the frequencies and periods for the first six mode shapes. And switching to the next result, we can see that 98.135% seismic weight has been achieved by considering the first six mode shapes and we know that 
as per the clause 7.8.4.2 the number of modes to be considered in analysis should be such that the sum of total modal masses of all mode considered is at least 90% of the total seismic mass which has been satisfied in this example and the stat has calculated the shear value as 313.17 kN again if we scroll up we can see that the dynamic weight of the building has been calculated in x y and z directions and in the next row we can see the missing weight by subtracting the missing weight from the dynamic weight the stat has calculated the modal weight of the building in x y and z directions about this result the stat has printed the peak story shear in all the five stories with the base shear in x direction as 313.17 kN. Now let us scroll down. We can see a note that the base shear VB from the response spectrum is less than the base shear V small b calculated using the empirical formula for the fundamental time period. And the stat has calculated the VB by VB multiplication factor as 5.0628. Clause 7.8.2 of IS1893 recommends that the design base shear VB calculated from the response spectrum method has to be compared with the base shear VB using the empirical formula and if the VB is less than the calculated value using the empirical formula all the response quantities has to be multiplied using the multiplication factor VB by VB. So here the stat has calculated the multiplication factor as 5.0628 so what we have to do is that this factor that we have specified in the x direction as 0 0.036 in the spectrum definition has to be multiplied with this multiplying factor of 5.0628 let us calculate the value we will multiply the value 0 0.036 with 5.0 628 which gives us a value of 0 0.1822 so we will redefine the value as 0 0.1822 click on change and click yes to accept the selection click close and let us reanalyze the structure with the modified multiplying factor let us check the output file now we will go to result and now we can find that the total base shear has been recalculated as 1585 kN and if we perform the same analysis in static analysis method we will obtain the same value of 1585 or approximately 1585 kN in global x direction and now the VB by VB value has been calculated as 1.0013 which is acceptable as per the earthquake code. Below this we can find the joint displacements of each and every joints and the support reactions of the structure in kilonewtons with force in x, y and z direction and moment in x, y and z direction. The member and forces of the members in the structures that is beams and columns in the members for the load cases 1 and 2. If you want to obtain the design forces we have to define a combination load case to obtain the design forces now we'll check the story drift option and we can see that all the stories are soft stories and the story drift exceeds the IS code recommendations if we redefine the bottom columns with heavy sections we can prevent the excessive story drift thus preventing the soft story in the structure so this is how we perform a response spectrum analysis in STAT. In the next video, I'll explain how STAT calculates the base shear values using the definitions that we have provided to the STAT. Or the back end of the response spectrum analysis will be explained in the next video. Please try to analyze the same building using the static analysis and compare the value of the base shear that you obtain using the static analysis procedure with the dynamic analysis procedure. You can find that the value of VB is comparable with the value that we obtained using the dynamic analysis. Now you will be thinking what is the difference between the dynamic analysis and 
or what is the advantage of using the dynamic analysis the main advantage is that even though the base shear by the static and dynamic analysis are comparable there is considerable difference in the lateral load distribution with the building height the story moments are significantly affected because of this change in load distribution providing us with a smaller or better design loads which will help us to lessen the reinforcement requirement of our structure while designing the reinforcements please leave your feedbacks and suggestions in the comment box thank you for watching this video for more videos and updates subscribe to the channel online civil digital